This is a DIY module that made that allows microcontrollers such as Arduino to control the focus and shutter of the cameras from the Panasonic Lumix line. I will show you how it works and how it was designed. But before that, here's a history for why I made it in the first place. Back in April 2020, when I started designing and building my own personal DIY Arduino based camera slider, I decided to add a special feature to it. An automatic focus and shutter feature for my Panasonic GH5 camera. By allowing the Arduino to time the camera slider movement and the shutter of my camera, I can create motion time lapse, like this one seen here. I plan to make a video on the camera slider after it was done to the level that I wanted, but a lot of issues came up along the way. These issues included the vibration and noise of the stepper motor, the more complex Arduino code required, and the messy wiring or back cable management. So I ended up taking a long break from it. During the hiatus, a lot of time was spent on other mechatronics projects. And a lot more on Call of Duty Warzone and Modern Warfare. Thanks Activision. Afterwards, however, I decided to revisit my camera slider project with the new electronics knowledge I gained. One change I made is to break the one giant circuit board or PCB to smaller breakout modules. That includes a remote focus and shutter. I decided to make a video on it before the camera slider itself. Here is a schematic of how the Lumix camera shutter and focus are controlled via the remote jack. The link to the source is down below in the description. By simply choosing an associating switch in the schematic with the right resistors, either the shutter or focus can be activated. I tested it first by using mechanical buttons as the switches. When the test was successful, I now needed the Arduino to control the opening and closing of the switches. To do that, I replaced the mechanical buttons with transistors. For those who don't know, transistors are basically electrical switches turned on or off by applying either a voltage or current rather than the mechanical contacts of the conducting points. By simply sending a logic high signal from the Arduino pins connected, the transistor switch will close, aka turn on, and activate either the button or focus. Initially, I used the MPM bipolar junction transistors in my first PCB design. This takes in a current, but for this module, I switch over to the N-channel MOSFET, which takes in a voltage instead. The PCB of the module was designed on the Easy EDA software as it is simple and quick. I sent the design files to JLC PCB for the low cost production and great results. By the way, I'm not sponsored by them as most of the big electronics YouTubers are, I just think that they do offer a great service. The module has three pins. Two pins are for the logic pins for the shutter and focus. The third one is the common ground. I decided to use FFC connector on the module and my custom made Arduino Mega board. That with a ribbon cable makes it easy to connect between my board and the module. I still added the 0.1 inch header connector anyways, so in case I do want to connect it to other Arduinos. After receiving the boards and putting the components on, I realized I forgot to put a small but significant component on. There are no pull down resistors on the gates of the MOSFET. Without it, the output could be floating when the Arduino is set to low. That caused issues where the camera was unresponsive to its buttons. Luckily, with this design, I can still retrofit the pull-down resistors to solve the issue. Here is a simple Arduino code to control the module. Now, time to show the camera shutter module in action with a camera slider. Unfortunately, with the COVID lockdown, I can't go outside to get some proper motion time lapse. So here's one with my sister being the test subject. Now you may be thinking, will this work with other brands of camera like Canon or Nikon? Short answer is no, as different brands use different circuit schematics to control their cameras. However, the same principle used to design this module can be used to design modules for the other camera brands. I hope you found this information useful and entertaining. I plan to be making a video on my camera slider once I think it is ready. So till then, stay around. Bye.